A tenolol, also known by the trade name tenormin. Indications for tenolol include treatment of hypertension and angina and the prevention of myocardial infarction. A tenolol works by blocking beta-adrenergic stimulation at beta-1 receptors with little to no effect at beta-2 receptors except for at very high doses. The therapeutic classification of atenolol is an antianginal or antihypertensive agent, and the pharmacologic class is a beta blocker. Special considerations for nursing include a contraindication in those with acute CHF or pulmonary edema, patients currently in cardiogenic shock, or those experiencing bradycardia or heart block. It may cause bradycardia and cause CHF exacerbation and pulmonary edema, or worsen these conditions. Hemodynamic parameters such as heart rate and blood pressure should be closely monitored while on a tenolol, and patients should be instructed on how to take their own blood pressure, whether at home or in a pharmacy. A tenolol may mask symptoms associated with hypoglycemic episodes of diabetes mellitus, and may affect blood sugar levels on its own. Patients should be advised to change positions slowly, especially when first starting atenolol or having a dosage change, as atenolol may cause orthostatic hypotension. One important drug interaction of note is that of atenolol, along with non-dihydropyridine calcium channel blockers, namely verapamil and deltaizam. This combination can cause bradycardia or heart block, and therefore, if a tenolol is needed to be used in combination with a calcium channel blocker, such as for the treatment of hypertension, a dihydropyridine calcium channel blocker such as amlodipine should be chosen instead. Visit nrsng.com slash 50 meds for our free cheat sheet covering the 50 meds every nurse must know. That's nrsng.com slash 50 meds. This has been another MedMaster podcast by nrsng.com with your host, licensed pharmacist Cody Magnuson, BSC, PharmD candidate. Now, from all of us at NRSNG, thanks for being here and happy nursing.